top tonight at 11. An eighth grade teacher in Dearborn under scrutiny tonight for alleged racist and insensitive remarks he made to Muslim students. One student came forward and made a formal complaint. 11 days later, though, she and her family don't think the school is going far enough in addressing the issue. They spoke with Jason Colthorpe about it tonight, and he joins us live with more. Jason, good evening. Good evening to you, and I should point out that student no longer in that classroom. She was taken out after the third incident. We're not showing her face tonight or using her name, but she wants to make clear she wants everyone to hear what she heard. Less than a month into the new school year at Dearborn Stout Middle School, an eighth grade student heard an insult to her Muslim heritage, but not from another student, from one of her teachers. One day he was just telling other students that they should take a shower and because like we stink and stuff like that. About a week after that, on September 23rd, the 13 year old said she was bombarded with more hurtful questions from that same teacher. First, he started off by saying, uh, are you American? Do you want to be one? Why do I live here? Why can't, why don't I go back to my country? That I should be more grateful. She immediately reported the comments in a written statement. She said the teacher claimed it was a misunderstanding in a meeting with the principal, and later her mother was told the same and that everything was settled. I was just shocked. I was like, what? It's not a misunderstanding. You know, there's no reason why he should have questioned her identity. There's no reason why he should have, you know, told her she's not an American. She is an American. She was born here. I was born here. The school district told me tonight it takes every student complaint seriously, and this investigation is still ongoing. The teacher in question was put on administrative leave today, not to imply guilt, but because it's a normal part of the investigation. This teacher clearly has a bias against Muslim women who wear the headscarf, and this teacher needs to be reprimanded and removed permanently. Would you like to see him removed as a teacher? Or? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't want him to do it to me or other students. She also told me that after that first incident on the or the, that incident on the 23rd that she first reported the very next day, that teacher was giving a lecture on invaders regarding plant species. But when he did it, she said he sat on her desk, sitting right in front of her in her personal space, and she and her friends felt that that lecture on invaders was directed toward them. Back to you. Jason, has the teacher ever done anything like this before that you know of? Well, the school district can't say because it's a personnel matter, but in talking to the family, they've heard some things, but also her mother says one of their own family members just last year, she's 14 now, last year had that class and had the same experience with that teacher, but they never reported it. In fact, the family didn't even know about it until this girl reported it and they shared stories. Kim. Sounds like uh, certainly more to come on this story. All right, Jason, yeah. thank you.